Hey folks, Stormcrow here, and today I'm going to talk about Ring of Honor's Glory by Honor expansion. And uh, since I finished off last last time with Moose, I figured I'd start off here with his manager, Doki Hathaway. Now, stat-wise, he's terrible, not meant to compete, but that's the point, he's a manager. But you can use him in tag matches with Moose, especially the fact that his finisher he jumps on he jumps up to a plus two as a team when you substitute the tag finisher or he just jumps out of the way and moves to hit the spear so his his most his big function is being moose's manager and using his uh having him interfere and using his distractor rating so there's that. Speaking of managers, we got an update for Veda Scott. Now, I may have jumped the gun of uh, calling her uh, initial card in Shimmer Volume 1 a disappointment, maybe because, I don't know, I hadn't seen her actually compete in, way back then, and her presence of Ring of Honor when I first watched, you know, when I was starting to watch her involvement, I thought she was a big competitor. I guess I was wrong, and I, and I had my my expectations were were pretty uh, presumptuous. But but with this update, she she is so much better. Her she well she's more focused on agility. She's got an, an extra finisher. But the big bonus is that as a manager, she can one time per match she can increase. The, the finisher of who she's managing to a plus three, provided not already that high, and th this finisher is using a weapon, so it has a risk of disqualification, but it, it's only a DQ rating of four, so it's an okay risk for a one-time bonus. Now we have Joe Da Diego. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Function's really good as a as a tag partner for Donovan Dijak from the Celebration of Honor expansion, but the artwork, the background for the artwork, that was the big down downside for me. I mean, look at this. It's either white noise or asbestos. That's, it looks like white noise or asbestos. So, yeah, but stats are pretty average. Uh, but he does have, but as far as his chart ratings go, he's got. A C on ropes and death jump, and it's hit or miss, depending on how the dice, how you roll the dice, I suppose. Then we got Mark Briscoe. I mentioned his brother Jay in the upgrade for his brother Jay in the Tradition of Honor expansion. Finally, he get it. finally Mark gets one here, and I gotta say it's almost better than Jay. For one, Jay, Mark doesn't have a DQ maneuver, and he, he also he has two different finishers, one of which you can substitute for a tag finisher if he's par partnered up with, with Jay. So, really kind of gives a really good boost to the Briscoes as a tag team. Then we got the lovable fan favorite, Cheeseburger. This was a big, big, big surprise because I was expecting him his stats to be far worse than they are. I mean, his power rating is plus four, kind of like I expected, but with the agility of minus two instead of zero, that's pretty surprising. But chart rings are kind of low, but um, everything else is fairly average, and he could pull out a win every now and again. Uh, well, hasn't for me yet, but. That's the that's the that's not the point. And they were on these two. Uh, this team was kind of they was planned for to be released for the uh, starter set, but because of legal reasons they couldn't. The All Night Express, Rhett Titus and Kenny King. Now Rhett did have a card for the starter, but Kenny got. But like I said, for legal reasons, he got his card got his original card got bumped. In place of homicide, I believe. But here, this, this team is amazing. Perfectly meant to, they perfectly function well as a team, and they have won a few times so far for me. And can we? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for them to win the tag belts. Finally, we got the big one. 
Tyler Black, aka Seth Rollins. Funny story. Twelve after twelve hours after I ordered this set, uh, Extreme Rules ended, culminating in in Seth Rollins' big return. Talk about timing. And this is a, an amazing update from his card in uh, Legends of Honor. A jelly better, almost every, with the exception of his ring rating, all the all chart rings are are A's. His his Phoenix Flash finisher, although it hasn't increased, you don't have to roll to see if it misses. And oh my God, all across the board, the card is amazing. Wouldn't be surprised if he has if anyone who's been using the card has has got him up to a, at least a television title or the world world title in their fed. So that's it. For the most part, Glory by Honor is is incredible. Great addition for anyone's fed, whatever they call it. Now, as far as well, for I don't know what I'm going to be doing for for next time. I've got some plans for for Father's Day and my niece's birthday, so I may have a slight delay for my next video. So just. Tune in for next time, I guess. Later.